everyone welcome to lectures by Aparna. In today's video we will see a matrix called diagonally dominant matrix. Consider a 3 by 3 matrix like this. Now if we consider the first row we have to check if modulus of 3 is greater than or equal to modulus of minus 2 plus modulus of 1. That is we are taking the diagonal element coming in that row. And finding if its modulus is greater than or equal to the sum of the moduli of all other non-diagonal entries. So in the first row, 3 is the diagonal element and minus 2 and 1 are the non-diagonal elements. So if we check that modulus of 3 is greater than or equal to modulus of minus 2 plus modulus of 1, we will get modulus of 3 is 3 greater than or equal to Modulus of minus 2 is 2 plus modulus of 1 is 1. Therefore, we get 3 is equal to 3. Therefore, the condition has been satisfied. So, in the first row, the condition is satisfied. Now, we have to check the condition for the second row. In the second row, minus 3 is the diagonal element. So, we have to check if modulus of minus 3 is greater than or equal to modulus of 1 plus modulus of 2. So, modulus of minus 3 is 3 greater than or equal to modulus of 1 is 1 plus modulus of 2 is 2. Therefore, 3 is equal to 3. Therefore, in second row also the condition has been satisfied. Now, we have to check the third row. In the third row, 4 is the diagonal element. So, we have to check if modulus of 4 is greater than or equal to modulus of minus 1 plus modulus of 2. Modulus of 4 is 4 greater than or equal to modulus of minus 1 is 1 plus modulus of 2 is 2. So, we get 4 is greater than or equal to 1 plus 2 is 3. Therefore, the condition has been satisfied in the third row also. Since this condition has been satisfied in all the three rows, we can say that this matrix is a diagonally dominant matrix. So, this is how you check if a matrix is diagonally dominant matrix. If this video has helped you, Please do subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you.